So birthdays are pretty sweet, especially for Plains Bakery in St. Matthew. Starting today, the signature spot for treats is celebrating a century in its historic location, giving back to its customers. So Jim Stratman and photojournalist Paul Landers are inside the bakery for us this morning, and there's just so much history there. I like how you pointed out it's not just 100 years. It's only 100 years in that particular facility. That's right, Eric. In fact, as you go around and read some of the poster boards up here, you're going to see just a lot of pictures, a lot of history. In fact, over there, a, a little blurb that says that the actual first location was down on Jefferson Street. Then two years later, they moved into this location and they've been here for the last hundred years. There is just so much history in this place. All the pictures, all of the memories that have been built throughout the years, and it still kind of remains steadfast even today. When you come into Plains Bakery, you're probably very in the moment. The sweet aromas, the look of the baked goods, your mouth is probably already watering. It's been like that for a hundred years. And those hundred years, well, they're documented all over the walls. This is a store in 1927. And this is early 1950. Milton Hettinger has been here for most of that century. It's been here since 1924. And uh, of course, we've seen a lot of changes. Uh, it was mostly country out here back in 24 when they came here. And uh, I've been here since 1948 myself. And there used to be a hitching post on the side here for the horses, when the people would become the road horse. Milton has worn many hats at Plains. I've worked at the fountain and I've washed paints, worked in the, cleaned in the shop, and then became a decorator. And eventually he became the president of this beloved bakery, all while connecting with people across Kentucky. We get people from Lexington, Shelbyville, uh, or Bowling Green, you have a lot of people in this area who um, grew up here or came back here, and it's just this place kind of pulls them in. It's kind of part of their memories, too. Okay. Jennifer Brownlee um, is the current owner well, of Plains. Actually, uh, as a baby, came home upstairs to the apartment upstairs, so we lived here for the first, my first three years before we moved. Just like Milton, it's the memories that make this building special to her. I can remember coming in as a kid with my dad, um, bagging buns and stuff like that and then I worked all through uh, high school and then did other things for a while and then came back about 16 years ago. Brownlee says her customers share that with her. The sweet treats may draw you in but it's the memories that make you stay. We get some second, we get some third, okay. you know people who were like oh I used to come in with my grandparents and now I bring my kids in. And we are set to make some more memories and celebrate a hundred years worth of memories all throughout the week. You can see behind me sign right up there talks about some of the deals you can get all throughout the week to help celebrate the century. We'll be back to talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. Eric.